teachers of Reddit. What's the coolest thing you've confiscated of a child? Live Dragonflies He was a little four-year-old boy that would never listen to any of the rules and generally just cause a lot of trouble. Anyway, he would catch dragonflies, without harming them. When you told him to release them he would open his backpack and two or three dragonflies would fly out. The Dragonfly Kid the Dragonborn. A note that said, School makes me feel like a dog waiting to be euthanized. Honestly, the things the youth of today come up with. Muffin, how do you feel about euthanasia? When I was a casual teacher I confiscated a knife from a five-year-old. He threatened me with it when I tried to get him to do his work. It was my first week. Now that's a fucking rough school. A dildo. It was found in the school garden. The kid came up to me and said I found a ding dong in the garden and I'm taking it home for mom. I was not professional that day. Kid had daddy issues apparently lol. What a good child. Thinking of his mom. Scorpion in a jar. The kid had put in leaves, twigs and even some smaller bugs for it to eat, made a real habitat. However. He was clumsy as hell and had a top locker above a concrete floor. No way I was going to risk him smashing the jaw and letting it loose in corridor. Gave it back to him at the end of the day with very clear instructions it was not to return to school. During the summer between my 9th and 10th year, our area was invaded by these giant wasps that were at least 3x the size of the normal paper wasps and yellow jackets we usually had. Huge scary looking fuckers that sound like helicopters when they fly, and they were everywhere. I managed to catch one on a mason jar, and it was big enough to take up more than half the bottom of the jar when it wasn't flying. I brought it to school to see if my biology teacher could ID it, he could not, but he kept it anyway. A raw egg spray painted silver. A live bird caught outside. A homemade hand buzzer. A luchador mask. Are your students the Penguin, Catwoman, the Joker and Bane? Frozen water bottle full of frozen margarita he was passing to his friends. 8th grade homeroom, so 12 year olds sharing a cocktail at 8 am. It was actually kind of clever hiding in plain sight, it did just look like a bottle of frozen water, but my teacher sense told me something was up. My teacher sense told me something was up. These children aren't usually drunk. There was a big conspiracy of exam paper trading going on around the area my school is located in. Some kid figured out a way to get the independent exam that several of the schools would purchase each year. He sold copies to anyone who would buy them, including our students. We confiscated a copy of the exam with a different school's logo on it before it was issued to our students. Eventually my school figured out we couldn't buy exams from this seller anymore as the papers for most subjects, English, Maths, Chen etc., always made it to the kids through the black market. To my knowledge, the seller was never caught. I'm just imaging a young Edward Snowden leaking documents then hiding out behind the bike sheds. A lot of drugs. Some really awesome lighters. A number of flick knives knuckle dusters and my personal favorite a kitten he found it on the way to school brought it with him and had it in his locker with lots of airflow and a blanket for comfort i caught him trying to smuggle a saucer of milk to it i'm a teacher as well and two years ago we had a girl smuggling a little pit bull puppy she tried to make a bed for it in her locker but of course the little guy was terrified and yapped like crazy we all took turns babysitting him until school ended and she could take him home. She found him wandering on the road on the way to school that morning and stopped to pick him up. He was super cute. A redback spider from the gently closed palm of a 7 year old boy's hand, almost every recess for a month before I figured out a way to make him stop. He was never bitten. What made him finally stop? I told him I'd keep him down to repeat year or two if he did it again because it's not very smart to kidnap a poisonous spider away from its family. Edit, venomous not poisonous, fearful face. 
her mother's clitoral vibrator. She brought it to school, age 8, and told her friends it was her, the student's, tension reliever, and that her mother told her to rub it across her forehead when she felt mad. She then had all of her classmates do the same. To be fair, I didn't confiscate it, my in-room intervention specialist did, and Maya's had no idea what it was so she took it with her bare hands, put it in her pocket, and carried on with her day. Later on, she tried to hand it off to me and I clued her in. Just another reason Maya's that year hated me with a burning passion. Edit to add we called the mom, mom confirmed what it was, that it was used as such, kid had stolen it without permission. Also, is is short for intervention specialist, just like the sentence right before I began using the abbreviation. An intervention specialist slashes is a special ed teacher. I worked in an elementary school for kids with oppositional defiance disorder, so 95% of the kids there were special ed with extreme anger issues. Weed. And I like to think I did it in style. When I was young I did a side gig as a high school teacher for a semester. I had first and second period with this class of 15 yos, mostly boys. Before the first hour begins I see how one of them excitedly shows something in his pencil case to his mate. They sat in the first row, so when they whispered something like whoa, where'd you get it from? And how much? It was quite obvious they have a bit of weed there. Stealth 0100. Technically speaking I should have reported them there and then, even involving police since weed is illegal where I live. They would have been in a fuckton of trouble. I could have also done nothing. What I did instead is when they all left for the break, I locked the door from the inside, opened that pencil case and pocketed the weed. The looks on their faces when they were back, priceless. They knew I knew, they knew I knew they knew, but it's not like they could have asked me to return their weed. The quality was so-so, and it was barely over a gram. This was 15 years ago and it's the only time I knowingly stole something. I don't regret it. When I was a student teacher, caught a kid stealing Star Trek Next Gen novels from the school library. I knew the kid was in a horrible family mess, as they kept moving due to evictions, drugs, and violence. He never had time to settle in a school before he was moving yet again. I took the books back to the library, went home that night and next day gave him all my copies. Hope his damn parents let him keep them. He and I discussed the purpose of learning a dead language like Latin, my subject, and comparing it to Star Trek's Universal Translator helped him connect. It's been 30 years. I still think of him. Edit, bloody hell, my first gold slash silver. Ta for that, kind stranger. Wish I could split it with the kid, wherever he went. He left for yet another school district less than a month after my term program ended. Double edit. I feel like I should add that I was in a weird place when I did my student teaching. I'd entered university early, and the uni I was at in the US made you teach your subject in the first semester of your junior year. I was 19 trying to teach Latin to students in a semi-rural town. Several students in the senior HS class were older than me. After the third time I was hauled aside for my hall pass, I took to wearing the grandiest twin set slash cardigan combo you could possibly imagine. Just needed very focal lenses, hair in a bun and maybe the hall monitors would have stopped pestering me. So the kid I helped, was probably about 3 or 4 years younger than me, tops. Yikes. One time in high school my geometry teacher tried to take the phone of a kid who she thought was texting during class. Turns out, he had cut a hole in his jacket and was actually just masturbating. Okay I'm not a teacher, but I'd like to think my teacher would have commented on this. My buddy had a pog maker in 4th grade. I used a Victoria's Secret magazine to make a bunch of ass and titty pogs for the bois. I had them hidden in the back of my very messy desk. Sometimes we'd have desk checks and mine was so shit that my teacher dumped it in front of the class. Ass and titties and pussies pogs went flying all over. It was kick ass. I was the kid, an imitation gun that used to belong to my grandfather. The thing was ancient, and was a simple single shot percussion cap pistol. The more I think about it as an older, less stupid person the more I worried that it was an actual gun, 
since he was a policeman. Never got it back, that's for sure. My teacher confiscated a phone case. Just the phone case. Not the phone. Maybe there would be a business selling decoy phones. At my school phones were not allowed at all, if you were caught it would be taken away for three months. So a lot of people would keep old slash broken phones in their bags so that if their real phone made a noise and the teacher wanted to confiscate it, they would just hand in the decoy phone. It was quite funny hearing an iPhone or Blackberry notification sound then seeing the teacher taking an old flip phone or Nokia 3310. Knives, drugs, boxing gloves brought to school for a fight club, homemade bong, with no cone piece, shiv made from an off cut of some type of acrylic made in manual arts, spear made from a bed frame. Edited, a word. I've taken a dog chain. A massive sharpened tent peg, razors and sharpened sticks off one kid. Yesterday at school my deputy principal also confiscated what a kid claimed was his drink bottle. A bottle of Jack Daniels filled with juice to look like alcohol. I teach intermediate slash middle school. Do you teach in prison? Do you have any same stories? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.